Welcome back. Joining us on the show is Aditya Junjwala. He is president of India Sugar Mills Association. Aditya, hi, good to have you. And the new season crushing starts from today, so uh, that there is a lot to look forward to. In the meanwhile, we already have those numbers that ISMA has released about a lower output expectation this year as compared to the previous one because of what we've seen in Maharashtra and Karnataka in sense of lower production. But what is your sense on what we could actually see in sense of diversion to uh, ethanol this time around? So as you rightly said, Manisha, that uh, the current position is little less, the production little less, but even very comfortable if you see the current situation, what is as assessed, the production numbers looks approximately 337 lakh tons of sugar, which is at a very comfortable position for the industry, for domestic consumers, as well as diversion to ethanol. If you see the total consumption in the country is approximately 278 lakh tons. If you say that if there is a slightly growth event, there will be another 280 lakh tons. And then leave us another 5 million for us to convert into ethanol. Last mm. year, the diversion to ethanol was approximately 38 or to 40 lakh tons. So I think the industry in the same position to divert that kind of ethanol is still getting some buffer to us. Mm. Aditya, with, uh, when you talk about 33.7, what is the kind of yield that you have taken into calculation then? So yield, if you see, is a different, different states. Like UP yields would be approximately 80 tons per hectare, whereas in Maharashtra, the yields are a little lower than last year, as is Karnataka as well. So that is the reason there has been little downfall. But still, if you see last year, we exported 6 million tons. And with the current situation, I don't think the industry will take that advantage or maybe in a position to export further. So that is the major difference from if you see from last year and this year. Mm. With the kind of sugar price moves as well that we've seen, uh, uh, what is your sense, one, on the festival season in sense of availability and affordability, one, in sense of prices going forward? So if you see the affordability and availability is not an issue at all. There is plenty of sugar which is available in the country and the prices are more or less stable now. And I think the same price will be in the future as well. There will be no major changes in the pricing in uh, the next coming years, coming months. Also, there has been a constant task of increasing the MSP for sugar. Do you see that happening at all? Is that on agenda? We have been asking for the government every time there is an increase in F FRP. But I think that is the current situation. So the prices are at the comfortable level. So industry is also on that comfort zone as of now. Mm. And the street is also waiting for the UP SAP prices. When do you see that coming in? I think that's the government to decide. But the mills have started. And we we'll think the government has been very kind enough to have a reasonable price, keep keeping the mind in the farmers and the industry for UP. And I think the government will keep doing the same. And industry has also responded in paying farmers on a timely basis. I think the industry will also keep their promises for the same. Also, what's your sense with the ethanol pricing? I mean, that's yet another thing that the street is waiting for. So there is, uh, you know, some uh, things that are still awaited by the sector. Yes, that is that is a major concern as of now for the industry because the new tender has to be started, the supply has to be started on 1st of November, but the prices have not been declared. The tender is due on the 3rd, so we hope so that the prices will be declared as soon as possible. And I think that will also set the tone for diversion because if mm. you see, there has to be a reasonable price as compared to sugar prices for B and juice, especially <coughs> for the sugar mills mm. to divert to more into ethanol. All right. So as, as far as availability and affordability goes, sugar is not a concern, but there's just so much uh, weight right now, whether it's about the UP SAP prices or the ethanol numbers, as Aditya says, that that is something that the street is watching for. The first tender comes in on 3rd of November and we are still not sure of the prices. So those are the things to watch out for as we move ahead in this week. Thank you so much, Aditya, for joining us and we'll keep an eye on that sector there. But with that, let's slip on a short break. When we return back, we'll talk more on markets and stock specific.